sunflower rice, peppers and onions, some mushrooms, some pecan meat, some tomatoes, moly, juice of a lemon. And I added just a sprinkle of nutritional yeast just to get a little cheesy flavor. Garlic and herbs, salt-free seasoning blend. Some honey ranch dressing. And there is my salad bowl, homemade and fresh and raw. So for lunch, guys, I made my bird beagles. That's right. Everything I put in my salad for lunch, I put it inside and wrapped in collard greens. That's right. Collard greens. Mm -hmm. Minus the lettuce on the inside, obviously, because I used the collard greens to act as my taco or burrito shell it was so good guys you got to give it a try thumbs up For a snack, I had the caramel sauce with apples. I'll put a link in the description box below. And that leftover beet and carrot pulp, I made a raw vegan beet and carrot brownie. So day 10 has come and it has gone. I want to say that this has been a very exciting experience for me doing something new waking up every morning excited about what I was going to prepare going to bed at night excited about what I would cook the next day it was fun it was so fun y'all I'm tired okay I didn't have a long day but I hope that by sharing my experience with the world, it just adds a little bit more value to other people who are trying to do the same thing or people who just want to try a new thing. Because regardless, I'm going to stay on my journey anyway. And if you come across this 10-day commitment that I made to myself, I hope that maybe you'll be encouraged and inspired to embark upon your own journey. Because that's what this is all about. I just had a good time exploring, experimenting. And I asked myself, am I going to continue? And I told myself, I'm going to continue. Now, I might throw in a couple of cooked meals because I'm telling you, I miss some hot food, <laughs> but the fact that I felt so great knowing that I was feeding my body what it needed made all the difference to me. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I might bring some different content instead of just focusing on the how-tos or what I eat in a day looks like. Um... I definitely am going to be exploring how much I actually need to intake in a day. Um, I've broken my 21-day fast, but I'm definitely going to talk a little bit more specifically about my 21-day fast experience leading into this 10-day raw um, vegan um, experience that I've just had. But listen, your journey is your journey. Your journey is right for you if that's the journey that you choose on your, you know, health or weight loss um, 
goals or mission or journey. I'm doing this for health. I'm a vegan for my health. And I'm learning that it's not as hard as I thought that it would be. Or um, intricate. (laughs) Because sometimes, at first it was a little overwhelming, but... Once you get it, once you know what you like and you have an ease around preparing things, it's not so bad. So if not just to increase your diet with more plant-based foods um, or know how to go raw or just the versatility of a raw vegan diet, you know, I hope that you find some value and just enjoy cooking uh, for yourself and watching me cook for myself so that being said day 10 is over and I got the rest of my life to live and it's gonna be a great life so y'all have a good day or good night or good morning because it's midnight okay I'll see y'all in the next video. (laughs) Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.